Julie Chanel. If you're new to this channel, here on this channel, we talk about everything from hair to makeup to fashion to you to pretty much all things beauty, lifestyle, and everyday living. So if you haven't already, don't forget to press, 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 press the subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can join the notification gang, gang. All right, let's get on with the subject matter at hand. All right, guys, as you can tell by the title of this video, today is week one of the Henna Souk Hair Challenge, Hair Growth Challenge. It's only a six-week challenge, so I don't anticipate my hair growing that much, maybe like a little smidge, maybe. I think it grows, is it half an inch a month or something like that? It's typical hair. I'll put the facts in here on the screen. Um, but so I imagine maybe I'll get like a half an inch within the six weeks. We shall see hopefully i can retain it but i will not keep you guys long i want to record this journey so i want you guys to come along with me all right so these are the products we'll be using for today is week one this is first i'm supposed to wash my hair with the zizifus hair wash i'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it it's sls free color safe healthier scalp through gentle exfoliation. The directions say wet hair thoroughly, spread a palm size amount of shampoo through your hair, use as needed, gently rub into your hands and scalp, allow to sit on your hair for at least one to two minutes, then rinse out. Follow up with the cleansing conditioning co-wash to restore and hydrate your strands, moisturize, dry, and style as usual, use as needed. There's a lot of other stuff on here that I'll read later, okay? But that's what we're gonna go, this is step one. And then we are going to move on to step two. This is a ready-made um, Ayurvedic hair care deep conditioner kind of deal. This is the Cassia Curls Moisture Mask. And it says on the back, the Cassia is cleansing, the Alma promotes hair growth, and the aloe is shine and growth. It's a ready-to-use mask. Pre-wash your hair with the shampoo, which I'm going to do. Apply on damp cleansed hair by sections. Do not twist or braid hair strands. Using our co-wash, gently rinse out the hair mask. Optionally, you can deep condition after this mask if your hair still feels dry. So this on the front here, it says one use for shoulder length shoulder length hair. I'm gonna do half of this, okay? Cause I'm trying to get two uses out of it, you know what I'm saying? So this is the, what we're gonna do here today. So half of this will be the step two. Step two, and then step three will be to rinse out that tr mask treatment with the co-wash, and then I'm just gonna use my regular leave-in conditioner and move on with my life. So I'm gonna show you guys my hair. This is it dry, as in not dry as in brittle, but dry as in not wet. So this is what it looks like here. I'm going to, mm, I might wet it, or I think I'm gonna hop in the shower. Let's go, girls. Alrighty, so here is my wet hair. No products, okay? Wet hair, no products. I'm gonna try to wear this sports bra every week so we can see if there's any change in length. Okay? This is what we're working with, okay? Week one, let's get it. Now I'm gonna go hop in the shower and use this. Oh! gosh it looks disgusting not gonna lie it smells very earthy okay and this is um, it's infused with zizzy fuss powder and sea salt both together gently cleanse the scalp and hair while adding volume and fullness to limp hair um, it Ingredients are aloe vera leaf juice powder, um, something I cannot pronounce. A couple things on here I can't pronounce. Dead sea salt, zisiphus spina, xanthium gum, potassium sorbate, sodium benzoate, which I don't really care, particularly care for, but that's right. Um, it's in most, a lot of products. Um, citric acid and orange peel oil. So, let's see how it works. I will show you once I put the product in my hair. I'm gonna go hop in the shower. All right, so this is the shampoo in my hair. It's probably been on my hair maybe like 30 seconds or less. I'm gonna hop back in the shower. It says leave on for one to two minutes. So I'm gonna go in and wash my body 
and then I will hop back out and I believe you're supposed to mix this in a certain kind of bowl but it doesn't mention that on here but I'm gonna use a glass bowl with a plastic utensil um, yeah and then I'll come back and I think I'm gonna keep the rest of this in the refrigerator but again this is what the shampoo looks like on my hair it has a nice orange citrus smell to it it looks crazy but it has a nice orange smell to it so I can feel it tingling a little bit which I hope that is a good sign all right, I'm hot back in the shower and then I'll be back for the conditioner or hair mask. All right, my hair feels squeaky clean. You can't hear the squeak. Um, all right, so now we're gonna go in with the moisture mask. I read somewhere to leave it on your hair for one to two hours doesn't say that on here okay it's missing the instructions on how long to leave it on but I remember when I watched the video um, it said to leave it on one to two hours so I'm gonna leave it on for at least an hour Let's see what happens um, and it doesn't say if you should cover your hair or not and that's supposed to section my hair off I didn't do that I'm gonna do that right now and then let me just put this in here so I can stop talking so I'm gonna break this open and I'm just gonna store the other half in the refrigerator. You know what they need? A little nozzle thing right here in the corner so you can just squeeze it in. That would be awesome. Just a little note. Woo! It smells henna y baby. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I'm just going to use that much. If you can see that, I'm going to try to save the rest, girl. Scoop it off of here. I scooped up the extra. Putting that, ooh, putting that in here. And again, I've used henna before, so I'm a little familiar with it. And I'm going to put some of that citrus in it too because it smells a little too earthy for me some citrus and rosemary solid and I would suggest if you buy this pre-made one kind of mush it up first so that you know it I think it separated a little so this is it I'm gonna go ahead and section my hair off and put it on my hair and then just let it sit like I said for two hours I'm gonna put a plastic cap on and um or hour and a half I mean And we all see what happens. All right, my final step. And I have to say, after the shampoo, it did feel a little dry, as in brittle. But um, then I did the deep conditioner, or the, this is called, the Cassia Curls Moisture Mask. And then I followed that up with the co-wash. And now it feels quite soft. Not like cottony soft, but it feels definitely softer than after um, I first shampooed so I definitely say that shampoo might not be an every week shampoo um, It might be more of a clarifier I'll report back. I'm gonna try it again next week just to see but all right. This is the end of week one. I'll catch you guys next week Bye